Manila and Bangkok, two cities that I've really spent quite a lot of time this year. And today I want to share with you and let's say contrast my different experiences, the differences of the two cities, the similarities, why I feel like in many ways both cities are worth visiting, but I also think there, there's downsides where one might be better for some things than the other. Today we want to contrast them a little bit. So to start out, speaking of Metro Manila, uh, population of over 13 million people, Bangkok in contrast, a little bit over 10 million people. So two huge cities, like when I speak of Metro Manila, there's a bunch of different cities. And uh, in a bit, I want to take you on the streets of Manila. Afterwards, we're going to come back a little bit to this island paradise to talk about this aspect of the two cities as well. But for now, let's dip a little bit into Manila. Let's Today I'm going to take you a little bit along my day and a question that I've been getting for quite a while now is kind of like, hey, I've been to Thailand, I've spent quite a lot of time there, Bangkok, one of the cities I like a lot. So people were asking me, hey, what is the difference? What do you maybe like more? What is better for travel? So right now I am in Manila in uh, a part that is called Eastwood. Definitely one of the nicer parts, as you can tell here, like a nice little pedestrian area. We got, as always, McDonald's hanging in the best spot skyscrapers and uh, the big big differences if you have uh, not seen my Bangkok videos you can watch them Bangkok at this point is a very international metropolitan city in the sense of there's people from everywhere be it coming just simply for a little trip for some tourism or even living there a lot of uh, experts so if you're just gonna walk around on the streets in some districts it's you're even gonna have a hard time to say a little bit in which country you are because it's so mixed you see people from all over the world where Manila is a bit different. Manila is yet very much under the radar for most people in terms of traveling. Whenever you actually come to uh, the Philippines, people tell you to, to, to skip Manila right away. And I guess the main reason for that is like because there's just so much uh, beautiful places in the Philippines, blue beaches, nature, which is definitely the selling point of the Philippines. But at the same time, I feel like the, the culture in the background of the two cities. So Manila, is I find probably the most unique capital city in Southeast Asia just from the historical background so what was it over 300 years of uh, Spanish rule here in the area a long time ago then there was uh, Americans here for a while and that really affected the culture so on the one side you have the old cathedrals in the city in a lot of um, let's say in the old town there's a place called Intramuros so it's very very unique I cannot think of another city in Southeast Asia that has any similarities to it. But when it comes to the modern parts of be it Manila or yeah, mostly Manila, I would say, it reminds you a lot of like American infrastructure, not just the fast food chains everywhere, but just the way the city is built, the streets, the skyscrapers, be it just even like pedestrian pathways. And uh, like this, this is kind of like a little whatever, like, I don't know, maybe Chicago downtown a little bit. And that is obviously affected just by kind of like, you know, having close ties to America. So in that sense, Manila is very, very unique. But to talk about kind of the negatives a little bit, um, you have to say Bangkok is just much more livable, be it things like Wi-Fi accessibility, uh, being in Manila. Guys, I'm talking about traveling, living in different countries, or generally being on the internet. I want to show you how you can put your laptop anywhere in the world. And this is where today's video sponsor, Surfshark, comes in. So Surfshark is a VPN and helps you to stay safe on the internet by encrypting your passwords and personal data, especially when I'm on the road, I'm in cafes, I'm using public Wi-Fi, a VPN is a really useful tool. Surfshark allows you to virtually travel the world. You can log in on over 3,200 different services all over the world. So what is it? Over 95 countries. And the best part, if you have one subscription, it allows you to log in with unlimited devices. That can be useful, for example, when you're booking hotels. Me being on the road all the time. Let's say if you're booking from abroad, you go online, sometimes you will see one price. But if you're locally or just try out a different country, you will see that there might be a different price. On the other side, let's say, you're using a streaming service like Netflix. You want to watch yourself a little bit of Batman. You go online in your country, it might be not available or maybe one version. For example, with Batman, you go into Hungary, you open up and all of a sudden all the different Batmans are available. 
So basically, Surfshark is like wearing good bathing shorts on a beach. It keeps all the private parts safe and secure. And on that note, you will <laughs> on that note you will find my discount code Danny in the description of this video. If you use it, you get 83% off and on top of that, three months of Surfshark for free. And so to come back a little bit to this island paradise, I would actually be curious if anybody recognizes, are we right now in the Philippines or are we in Thailand? As of right now, it's still the Philippines series and talking about, let's say, beaches, nature, both cities, be it Manila, be it Bangkok, there is no, let's say, right away like paradise beaches right away like in Bangkok a couple of drives away you can go to Hua Hin I think uh, I personally haven't been but it's accessible it's nice places in Manila a couple of drive uh, hours of drive away there's places like the white beach but uh, actually there is a beach in Manila the uh, Dolomite beach it's kind of like an artificial beach that they set up I've also visited it there will be a full video about it. it's quite an interesting place but overall to get to the best places be it in Manila or in Bangkok Usually you would have to fly, so in the Manila it would be places like Palawan, some of the most amazing places. Looks uh, somewhat like this, or maybe here, maybe anybody can guess where I am right now. You can leave it down in the comments. If you're in Bangkok, your best bet would be to go to the south of Thailand, so places like Krabi, places like maybe let's say Phuket, maybe Koh Phi Phi. Personally, I feel like Krabi is one of the nicest areas, or Koh Phangan. So with both areas, you, for the biggest convenience, would have to fly. You have to say Bangkok is just much more livable, be it things like Wi-Fi accessibility. Uh, being in Manila for, I think in total, it was around maybe one and a half, two weeks. I had a hard time getting a good internet connection, even staying at decent hotels. The other thing is Manila is much, much more spread out and the traffic is just intense. So with that, there's a lot of nice areas. Like some people come to Manila and they just stay like, in a, let's say, uh, less well off or like definitely not one of the, uh, one of the, let's just you say poor neighborhoods of Manila and you might get a bad impression you might leave and think that is the whole city but actually there's a lot of very nice areas uh, like this one like makati like bgc and they're actually fairly large it's not just like a little enclave like this actually is just like a little nice area a little bit in the outskirts of manila this is how you know it from uh, many cities there's just like a little neighborhood that is nice and outside is still like much more uh, older the city but like parts like makati is a huge district really really nice and uh, there you could technically find any major convenience you would want it to and I'm sure you can also find decent Wi-Fi while on the other hand Bangkok is much more connected like you can just go for long spurts of walks and still be in a nice uh, modern area then you might be gonna walk in into like the royal district so pretty much Bangkok obviously over decades had much more uh, it's just a little bit further ahead in terms of these things and the infrastructure and conveniences so I would say Bangkok for me personally, uh, Bangkok I would say is much much more livable but I have to say Philippines and Manila if in the next few years maybe in the next 10 years hopefully rather sooner than later if some problems are going to be solved and the city is just going to keep developing I think it will be one of the most unique cities in all of Asia just because of the very very unique background like some people say it's kind of like the lost Latin cousin of you know like the Latin world it's just such a different vibe in the city seeing the churches seeing the cathedrals very very different history where I think it makes Manila a very interesting and unique city to visit especially if you stay in a place like Makati or BGC for a few days I find it very very interesting then you go into the old town a little bit and that's kind of like why I made Manila a bit of a base, you could say, for um, the Philippines trip, just to settle down. Because still on the islands, the Wi-Fi can be a bit tricky, especially if you want to upload larger files. That was kind of like one of the main reasons. And uh, what else? I mean, there's obviously big differences in terms of cuisine. You know, I would say Bangkok is huge with street food, pad thai, different soups everywhere. Street food, I would say, is not as big uh, in the Philippines. like. If you're in a modern area, you're not gonna really have it like that. Like you, you have to imagine in Thailand and Bangkok, there's like street food absolutely everywhere. And like fairly nice, it's like a huge part of the culture. Here it's just restaurants everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I think I ran into one um, street food market on the weekend here in the Philippines, but it's much more kind of like organized and much more like there. I'm sure there is a lot of them, but you have to imagine in Bangkok, if I would be walking around in Bangkok right now, I would have already ran into 
for like nice uh, patai and street food stands, even like in the more modern district in the side corners, which is, uh, yeah, personally, I find it nice. I like it. Food is obviously very different here. Again, Spanish influences, lots of meats, uh, chicken adobo, definitely something I like. Thailand, Thai food, pad Thai, a lot more spice, a lot more, uh, yeah, just Asian food, you could say. And so, yeah. I guess that gives you a little bit the idea of uh, my different two impressions. Bangkok is a city, also in terms of the different condominium buildings. Like, again, I'm sure you have nice places in the, that I just have to say. In Manila, you have to pay quite a bit more to stay in a nice place. Like, right now here, I think it's close to $100 for like a nice hotel room and like a four-star hotel. And it's decent, it's still not like great. In Bangkok, you can get fantastic value for like $40, $50. So that is just, again, just coming from the fact when there is a lot of competition, a lot of different hotels and chains and just offerings in this um, niche, kind of like if you think of Bali. That's one of the main reasons why Bali is so affordable while at the same time the service is very, very high. It's just because also the competition and the whole hospitality industry is just so far that there's the competition drives the price down. And at the same time, you get like really nice opportunities in terms of where to stay, what to do, different cafes popping up. So I think all of that is still uh, ahead for a city like Manila. Like, that's maybe something I'm uh, missing a little bit is uh, kind of like nice cafes. Like I've walked into a few cafes, they didn't have Wi-Fi, so I couldn't stay there in Makati, which kind of surprised me. But then again, that's kind of like uh, the reason why I perhaps and as always, I'm 100% sure that you can find your places in every city if you spend enough time. Like a lot of people like to like uh, ride off a place where you like, you know, you get your first impression and then you base everything else off of it. So I think, yeah, that probably gives you a bit of a idea. Okay guys, and so I hope you enjoyed today's little talk. So honestly, I would say both cities are absolutely nice to visit. They have their own contrast, their own culture, which makes both destinations uniquely, let's say, interesting. While I think there's a lot of big cities that might be a bit bore, uh, boring, both Bangkok and Manila are a very vibrant. Manila with its own like Spanish colonial uh, history, all the different uh, old churches around town, and the thing is, you know, right now I'm walking down the beach here. I'm at Tupkak Beach, if you have been curious. I kind of like peeked it on before. I'm in Thailand. A couple of weeks later, after the Philippines series, you can also join me on Instagram to stay up to date where I am because soon I'm leaving again to another country. I definitely will be again in the Philippines. And also we have been talking about Surfshark. Honestly, I think here in the waters is no sharks. But I'm telling you, I saw some huge lizards around the corner. So while a VPN cannot protect you from that, I would say if you see those, you just better run. No, they're actually harmless. They're really scared of you. A VPN protects you when you're on the road traveling, be it on the beach, be it on your computer in a cafe, especially with the public Wi-Fi. Make sure to check out Surfshark below in the description and get three months off with my code Danny. Guys, seriously, the Philippines adventure, like I'm reflecting on it, is already a couple of weeks ago, has been absolutely amazing but on this note you too got a world to see there's so much more beyond the borders of what you're familiar of got a world to see was born and it is all about living and traveling through different countries all under the premise of finding more more opportunity more adventure more freedom <laughs> <laughs>